Hi guys, let's generate UVs for Geometry Node curve-based meshes. So let's add a plane. Use a material. Let's call it curve. Go to Geometry Node. Let's convert it. Mesh to curve. Usually you don't have a cyclic curve. Usually, maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. So cyclic, it's, it's plain cyclic. No. So here we have our curve. Convert it to mesh. Curve to mesh. We need a curve circle for the profile curve. Then we need to set the material. Let's go to shading. Let's use a color grid. And you can see our UVs are wrong. Let's fix this. To fix this, We need to capture the attribute of both curve. So we need a spline parameter. Capture attribute for both curves. Use the factor. We need a combine XYZ. Vertical, horizontal. Let's go to the output. We can rename our output. Give our output a name as well. So now you can see the coordinates here in the spreadsheet. Let's go to shading, remove this, let's add attribute, use our attribute, our UV, plug it to vector, and voila. But we have an issue. See here. So let's fix this. Instead of using a curve circle, we're going to use a spiral to generate a circle. Uh, let's plug this here. Wow. Resolution. Rotation only one time. No height. Uh, let's change the radius. And voila, it's fixed. So let's recap. You have your curve. You plug it to a capture attribute. Use the factor and the value. Use both attributes to combine X, Y, Z. Go to output. Name your attribute. Use attribute in the shading. And voila, thanks for watching.